how you can create responsive form design in power app hi this is krupali from know how academy so let's see what you will learn from this video from this video you will learn what is the meaning of responsive screen and form design in power app and why it is needed second you will learn what are the settings you need to do in your power app canvas app to make your screen and form responsive and third you will learn practical implementation of responsive screen and form design in power app using real life scenario and last but not the least you will have a question answer session so you will get the answer of your all possible question so stay tuned till end of the video so you will learn everything about responsive form design in power app so let's start so first of all let me tell you what is the meaning of responsive screen as well as responsive form design in power app and why it is needed so here i have developed one form let me run and show you so this is a form design now what is the meaning of responsive screen or responsive form design see here if i click on the mobile view and change it so my form design is changed according to my screen dimension or screen height and width in previous screen you will see two fields in each row but here you will see one field in each row if i rotate the screen or you can say if i change the orientation of the screen here my form design and my screen design will adjust according to that now if i convert it into a canvas app view now see how this form design will change and how screen design is also changing before that here if you see that in form design each and every row has one field but when i convert into canvas app according to screen size a form fields are adjust so this is called responsive form design as well as screen design now let me tell you why it is needed the reason for creating responsive form design as well as responsive screen design is that we can make our application device screen or device resolution independent why because we made an app we don't know whether people will use it on a desktop whether will people use it on a mobile phone or a tablet if we are making separate design for each type of device then it will create lots of cost and lots of code redundancy so to overcome the problem of that responsive screen design and form design introduced in power app so i hope you get an idea why responsive screen and form design is needed and what is the meaning of responsive form design now the second things you need to understand what settings you need to change to make your screen as well as form responsive so let me tell you so let me just close from the running section first of all you need to go to the setting and click on the display and make sure that your scale to fit feature is switch off if you keep this switch on uh, let me show you what will happen so click on close save it and run it now when i change the orientation you will see before that a form design is adjust according to the device size but now see how it is looking if you change the orientation you will see that right now two fields are there in one form but before that only one field was showing and if i change it the uh, tablet view and if i change it the orientation it is not looking good so to overcome the problem of that you need to switch off the scale to feature scale so to overcome the problem of that you need to switch off scale to fit option so let me switch off that and if you run this you will see according to your uh, screen uh, and orientation your form design is adjust so this settings you need to do why implementing responsive form design as well as screen design in power app obviously you need to do some change at the coding level but at the setting level this 
think you need to keep it in mind and third let me tell you how you can implement responsive form design in power app using real life scenario now let me tell you the scenario let's say you are working in a company and in that company you are collecting data of job seeker so for that you made a table in dataverse and the name of a table job seeker and it has a different column like full name job seeker id date of birth then hobby then marital status of the uh, job seeker email address contact number as well as more fields are there like 10th percentage 12th percentage graduation so to take this type of data from the job seeker you want to design your task is to design a form so you choose a canvas app to design this kind of form so how will you do that so first of all you need to take a new screen now if you switch on the modern things and control and if you click on the new screen here you will see the responsive design of a different screen so these are the demo responsive design so you can select from this design and directly you can implement the responsive form design in that now here once responsive screen design uh, is there you can see that header and form design so right now it is under the preview section it is not in a production but soon power app will convert this feature into a production so i am taking the header and form uh, screen and let me rename this screen as a a uh, job seeker responsive screen or let me give a name as a job seeker screen now once you add the screen automatically header and the form is there and two buttons are also there so if you click on this header container you will able to see now i want to uh, set my header so click on this header and here give the name let's say job seeker info information okay you can give any text to the uh, job seeker now here in the logo section you can upload your logo or anything so let me just uh, take this uh, logo which i have taken already in previous design if your image is not showing you can click on the upload and then you can select your image from uh, your local device but i have already this so i am using this now here in this container a form control is automatically added here when i take a screen i did not take any container i did not take any form automatically when i take a screen form and header container is added in that now here you need to take a data source in which you want to add your job seeker data so here i have made a table named job seeker and here i am selecting this table so automatically form fields will be exist according to your uh number of fields okay now here you will see that a uh, form is created but when i save it and when i run it here a uh, proper text box and it is not showing what's the reason for that because when you are using modern form control uh, the text box design is created such a way that it is in a light gray color mode since our form design is also in a light color so you cannot see it properly so let me click on the main container and change the color of that container to this so now you can see that text box is there but before that if it was transparent so you you do not have any idea that here the uh, text box is there so you can set the any color of the form so here automatically it will be there if you you can take it white color so automatically light gray color text box you can see that if i run this and if you see here right now your form design is good now one more thing you need to keep it in mind that uh, right now the uh, number of column in this form is 1 what if i change to 2 and save it now when i run it you can see that automatically 
the uh, second column is transferred to below of the first column why because my screen is not proper wide to show data in a two column format if i convert into a like this still it is not converting into two column why because this much space is not good for that now if i convert it into a mobile device here you will see still it is not converted into a two column why the reason is that this entire screen is responsive now if i convert it into a canvas size let's see what happens now automatically this a single column is converted into two column so this is the beauty of modern form control now if still you are facing an issue what you can do with that so here you need to go to the container where your form is there so here this is my form container now inside that here that container property uh, width you need to check it right now it is manually define as 500 now if the screen width is lesser than this then some problem may arise so what you need to do here you need to write a formula which can adjust the screen width according to the parent container width okay so for that i am writing switch case so if my par uh, screen size is large what can be the width if my screen size is small what can be the width of that so for that i am using switch formula uh, to set the width of the container according to this screen width so switch then you need to write the name of a screen for which you need to uh, set the width so this is js this is uh, job seeker screen okay since space is there so you need to write it in a single quotation so job seeker screen dot uh, size you need to mention size after that you need to define what if the size is small what if the size is uh, big extra large so you should write if the screen size of the uh, job screen is small then i want to adjust my form width according to the parent container width so parent dot width if my screen size is large or you can say uh, greater than the small so what i want to do still i want to set the for medium right now i'm setting still i want to set parent dot width and for the rest of the case i want to give width size by 2 so you can write parent width by 2 and save it and run it now let's check it out also let's say i convert into that so here you can see that a width is adjust according to that okay now here width is adjust according to that now let me just uh, uh, remove this and show you what happened 500 save it and run it still it is same but sometime screen size is different which is not there in a defined size then it will create a problem so it is always advisable to write a proper formula in container which will set the dynamic uh, width of the container or form so here my form is done now when you add the screen automatically on submit button you can see that submit form 2 reset form 2 is written so automatically data will be inserted now when you click on the cancel the ready-made code is written that we want to reset the form so here we do not need to write a code which will insert data into the table now rest of the thing what i need to do here uh, you can see that order is not properly uh, designed of the fields so i can click on the form control and go to the fields and and adjust the fields according to that so for that uh, first i want full name so let me just drag it to the first so design will change according to that okay then after i want uh, 
email id but here it is not there so let me just add field and write email so here email is there so i'm just quickly changing the order of the fields so you you can see that so here you can see that i have changed the order of the fields now let me save it and run it so here let me just write my name that is kinal and i'm writing full name and let me just write a contact number uh let's say this is my dummy contact number and i'm writing the uh my email address then i'm selecting date of birth i'm just selecting a random date of birth okay so let's say i'm just selecting okay and time i'm i don't want now experience in year let's say 10 years okay field of experience let's say in it certificate let's say uh, pl 300 i have done then let's say graduation in, let's say in it it engineer then master i did mtech then 12th percentage let's say 87 10th percentage let's say 78 hobby i want to dance so i'm entering dance and marital status let's say married and when i click on save mtech cannot be converted into a number the reason is that when i was writing a uh, master uh, so maybe i gave number as a data type so this may happen while you are dealing with the data so let me go to the data, uh, data and check the uh, master field okay so let me go to the edit and write master now here actually master uh, in that i need to add a percentage and in graduation also i need to add percentage but i am just adding here master and graduation so it is creating confusion to the end user that what they should enter so here you can click on this and Uh, unlock this and write a proper heading okay so here you can write display name concatenation then you can mention percentage okay you cannot change the column name but you can write it like this okay so this will not create a chaos from the end user side and it will not create any confusion also and same for master okay so right click on the form first of all you need to unlock it why because when you are taking form control whatever data card whatever labels it is there in a form it is locked by default so user cannot change the design but if you want to change the design you need to unlock it and then you need to go to the text property and write it like this percentage and save it let's do it again i'm just entering my random contact number okay then date of birth let's say selecting um experience in year let's say 10 field of experience is it then certificate let's say pl 300 then uh, graduation percentage let's say 67 then master is let's say 78 12th percentage 87 10th percentage let's say 78 then hobby let's say dance and marital status let's say married okay and click on okay so now you can see the form is reset automatically and data will be added now let's refresh it so you will see this is the data okay now before that i already enter the data but one of the data is wrong so here you can see the duplicate entry so let me remove this so it will be removed from the data and you can design such a way that if you if there is an any error then it will not uh, enter the data uh, so you can design like this but since i'm showing the a uh, responsive form screen design so this is all about that responsive form design now 
here your task is done that as a part of company you need to design a job seeker where job seeker will feel this information and you will have a data in your data works table so congratulations you have done this task successfully so i hope you understand how you can design responsive form in power app now the next question is what can be the problem or a question that may arise while you are implementing responsive form design in power app so the first question can be what is the good practice to make a responsive form design let me show you when you are designing a responsive screen in power app always take a screen which has a pre defined uh, design if possible then take it if you want to design a screen which design is not there in a new screen design then you can design your own but i advise you to take this uh, type of screen design so that is the first way to design your responsive screen now the second thing you need to keep it in mind if you are taking a blank screen and for that screen if you want to design a responsive screen so always put your control inside a container so you can take a container that can be horizontal contain vertical container and inside that container you can design your controls the next thing is that when you are taking a container always set height and width of the container to the parent screen design like this parent width parent dot width and do same for a height parent dot height and adjust the screen uh, pixel also that is it will always start from zero so now you can see that my container is automatically set to the screen design if you save it and right now you will not able to see anything but let's say here i'm adding a uh, any button con control and let me just put this control at the center of the screen and when i save it and when i run it and change the orientation automatically it will come into the center of the screen if i change the orientation still it will be in the center of the screen if i change the window size it will be there if i convert into a canvas size button position will be fixed whether button position is fixed irrespective of the screen size and its orientation so always take container and inside a container put control and set the height and width of the container to the parent dot width and parent dot height now the next thing is which formula is useful to make your control responsive so for that let me show you so here if you have seen that in form container uh, in width i have written this formula so basically this formula uh, is telling that uh, if my screen size is small what can be the my width if my screen size is medium what can be the width so this formula you need to take care now here parent dot width parent dot height whatever you want to set here you can set the next question can be which property of the control is responsible for its responsiveness design so for that always refer width and height property of the control to make it responsive and do not write any uh, number or fix number in a height and width otherwise it will be screen specific so these are the answer of your all possible question so let's see what you have learned from this video in this video you have learned first what is the meaning of responsive screen design and form design and why it is needed the second things you learn what settings you need to do in your canvas app to make your form and screen responsive and third you learn practical demonstration of responsive form design and responsive screen design using real life scenario and last but not the least uh, i gave the all possible question answer in this video thank you for choosing know how academy as a source of your it knowledge we are always here to help you to navigate to the tech world if you have any question do not feel hesitate to reach out us stay curious keep learning